D Block Express. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Shout out to the old subscribers. The, my day oneers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's that time. How much of a fan are you? Huh? We deal with the meaningful fights. This was a very meaningful fight. Golovkin's bitch ass. But hey, I had to find out who the best was. Oh, we know who the best is. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we know who the best is. Uh-huh. Oh, that's just the last shirt over there. Y'all wish y'all had that. See, y'all ain't fans like me. That's the problem. You guys claim y'all fans. Y'all ain't fans like me. Come on. What the hell? <laughs> D-Block, man, what the fuck is Batman doing on here? That's because Batman will beat the shit out you, man. Fight like a crime fighter. That's why. Pound for pound, skill to skill, Batman a handle you man handle you fight night man shout outs to my day oneers shout outs to the new subscribers roll something spark something welcome aboard the d block express you know when i first made this video i was like you know what i need all my shirts but then I realized I threw one away. I had a Terrence Crawford, Nate Diaz shirt. No bullshit. Same same type of layout. And it it the face of it came all fucked up. Like you couldn't even you had to squint to see Crawford's face. I got so upset I just tossed the shit. I was so mad. So I gotta get another Crawford shirt. I went to the Porter Thurman fight, but they didn't have a shirt where both of them were together like this. They had, like, Thurman had his own one-time shirts, and then Porter had his own Porter shirts. And I'd be damned if I'm buying a shirt that just says Porter on it. Oh, you know the money man had to come home, the best of all time. You know that had to be a given. And that was given to me as a gift. But I would have bought it if I had to. This is just an ill-ass shirt. Y'all wish y'all had this shit. <laughs> y'all wish. Yeah, man. So... What the fuck? <laughs> they still wondering, what the fuck? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm just saying, you know, let me help y'all out. Uh, how much of a fan are you? Y'all ain't no diehards. Fuck out of here. Is that better? Is that better? <laughs> Yo. Let's get this prediction out the way, man. Wilder vs. Fury. Shout out to all the diehards out there. You know what I mean now, right? Ain't just saying it for my health. Shout out to my diehards, man. But it's all about this man tonight. Excuse me. It's all about you, buddy. You got a lot of work to do, man. You have the entire United States of America on your fucking shoulders tonight. You know if you lose, all the glory goes back to England. You know that, right? You cannot lose. You can't. Shout outs to Wilder, man. Because I understand Wilder. For y'all that don't understand Wilder, kill yourself. Nah, for real. You can't hate on something that you don't understand, right? No, no. Man, <laughs> bring out my gun collection next, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's ratting on yourself. Don't be stupid, man. Who look at all my guns I got? Yeah, uh-huh. Next thing you know, your door is kicked in, motherfucker. But for real, Wilder versus Tyson Fury. I'll tell you who I want to win and who's actually going to win. Who I want to win is, of course, Wilder. I need the United States to still represent like we're the best of all time. Because we are. No, for real. It's just, you know, the top eight greatest fighters of all time are the United States. You guys know this. And the thing is, like I said, I understand Wilder. You know why? When I go to the shooting range, right? When I go to the shooting range, <laughs> prime example, and... Let's say let's say I'm at the shooting range, right? But let's say my man my man Ty going to the fight. It's at the barbershop tonight, so I'm about to get up out of here, go to the barbershop. Let's say 
You know, when I go there, I shoot sideways. Because I feel like it, motherfucker. I'm paying my fucking money. It's my fucking bullets. I shoot however the fuck I want to shoot. So the dude next to me was like, yo, you know, you're not supposed to shoot like that. They only do that in the movies. I said, well, then this is a live action feed, motherfucker, because I'm shooting like this. He was like, I bet you I'll shoot better than you shooting regular. I said, okay, let's do it. Of course, I beat his ass. <laughs> Don't go against me in targets, man. You ain't that nice, dog. I beat his ass. And then he's like, yo, how the fuck do you shoot like that? After I win, now you want to know how I shoot like that. Man, just call me Mr. Outside the Box. So why do I understand, man? Just because you ain't the technician like normal boxers, or we haven't seen, you know, someone of your statue hold the crown, we're not used to it. Nobody even wants to get behind you because that is not what we were taught. But surprise, I'm going to be right behind you, player. And the whole LDBC right behind you, player. You leading the way, though. <laughs> you leading the motherfucking way, nigga. <laughs> Oh, man, support this fight. I'm going to be streaming this shit live on Facebook. Fuck YouTube. Tell them twice. I'm streaming this live on Facebook. Hopefully they catch me before I see the whole fight for free. Check me out. I'm at, um, what the fuck is my name on Facebook? Because I don't go on there like that. I'm at um, TJ IV Collins. TJ IV Collins. Look me up. You will see the fight for free. All right. Now, my girl don't get off of work till like 9.30. It's only like 8 o'clock right now. So I got a good little hour and a half left. Let's talk about let's talk about the pros and cons, okay? Fury, what up, man? Let's talk about Fury. Fury is the slickest fighter out of all the heavyweights. I haven't seen a slick fighter like this in a long time, okay? Now, the thing is this. Klinchko got so lazy in his style of fighting, he forgot how to literally float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. You got to be able to turn it on at a moment's notice. The money man will show you how to do it, but you got to be able to turn it on just like that, you know? And... When it comes to that herky-jerk style, the slicksters, I fucks with them. You know, I fucks with Tyson Fury. I'm a slickster type of a fighter. I don't go by just KOs. I don't go by, I damn sure don't go by power, which is why it got me even baffled why I'm picking the winner that I'm picking. But I think I'm going to be a little biased in this. So if y'all don't want to watch the rest, then fuck it. Click off, nigga. You ain't, you ain't have to be here in the first place. I got Wilder winning by knockout. I think it's going to be late. I think Fury's going to overexert himself, meaning he's going to be beating Wilder up. And then he's going to think, just like Ortiz, he's going to think that Wilder has nothing left and really go in for another punch to really rock Wilder. But Wilder is so fucking strong, son. We saw it in this fight alone. So strong. He destroyed Ortiz on the back foot. Wilder was literally backing up when he caught Ortiz with the famous shot that changed the entire round. Y'all remember that? So to think that you're going to, just like Spilka, Spilka was backing up Wilder at the time when Wilder caught him. Wilder's punches are way more accurate than people give him credit for. Did you see, <coughs> excuse me, did you see the Bermain Stavern fight? How many times did Wilder catch this man dead on his chin, dead on the button? Right? Mad times. That left uppercut, right on the button. The one two, right on the button. Sat him on his ass, sat him on his back pocket. So, 12 rounds. We thought Ortiz could have skipped my loo to the end. He was in the 10th round. All he had to do was outbox Wilder, stay away from him. He would have won. But everybody wants to always try to knock Wilder out. And that's where they fuck up at. 
Instead of just trying to outbox the man and win, you want to try to put on a show, and then you are the one that gets put on display. Wilder wins by knockout. I think Fury's going to do a good job. I'm, I'm giving it to the 11th round. The 11th round, I think Wilder is going to, like always, <laughs> Wilder's going to rise to the occasion, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, it's funny because if Fury wins, I don't think Joshua and them are going to fight. They're going to sit over there and talk shit about each other for the next two, three years. I, I, I believe so. If Fury wins, you can cancel Deontay Wilder versus Joshua. Joshua will never fight Wilder if he loses, ever. There's no point. There's too much risk. No reward. Wilder will not be a champion. Wilder will have lost. He won't be undefeated. He won't be this king and tyrant that everybody claims him to be. And you, Joshua, are the one who didn't take the victory. So there's no point in you fighting him. I know you're not going to fight him. Even if Wilder wins. <sighs> Joshua, Joshua, Joshua. Um, I can see Fury winning. I can see Fury winning. Let's be real, okay? I can see Fury winning on points. That's the only way I see Fury winning. Talking about, I'm going to knock you the fuck out, man. No, you're not. If that was the case, you, you should, <laughs> if you ain't knock out those last four or five opponents that you fought, all of a sudden, you're going to knock out Wilder? No, Jack. Stop it. Stop it. The only way you win is on points. You can you, you know, fight on the inside. Wilder doesn't really fight on the inside. Wilder also doesn't go to the body as much as I think he should. But that, man, that X factor, whew, that X factor still has him as the heavyweight king of the world. Right? Wilder is the best heavyweight in the world right now. No, he's not. Joshua is. Really? Joshua avoided Wilder. Not the other way around. Clinchko avoided Wilder. Not the other way around. <laughs> come on, man. Be, be real with yourself. How come everybody's ducking Wilder, but they want to claim that he ain't the best? Nah, Jack. See, that's the thing about boxers. They don't get to really decide who the best is. We get to decide. And we say Wilder is the best in the world right now. So tonight, Fury, you can give it all you want. You can give it all you got. I only need one punch. I only need one punch. If you went on points, that's what everybody thought you were going to do. Exactly. Stay away from that right hand. <laughs> but as far as literally winning the fight, coming home with the belt, the victory, nah, man. Wilder got this in the bag. As much as I've seen Jamel, Jamel Charlo improving, Wilder has been improving too. If he uses that jab like I saw in those videos when he's he's doing his media day or he's in the ring training, he uses that stiff-ass jab and then uses that feint, comes over with the right hand, all she wrote, all she wrote. He just has to stick with that jab, even if it don't land. Stick with that jab all night long. I don't give a fuck how boring the fight is all night long. It will be, his, it, everybody's talking about it. It'll be historical if Fury wins, right? It'd be historical if Wilder outboxes Fury. That will be historical in my eyes. Fuck Fury. Or you UK bandwagon. Y'all niggas, it's terrible. Like, no lie. <laughs> no lie. <laughs> You motherfuckers have no type of celebrity status over there. It's Katie, who, who, it's, it's, I don't even think Katy Perry's one of y'all. It's like whoever becomes famous wherever they are comes to the United States. Um, Joshua. Whoever wants to claim they're the best, it don't matter what type of entertainer you are. Football player, you know. Think about it. Basketball, the greatest players in the world are where? In the NBA. Where is that located, motherfuckers? The United States. And you guys know, if anybody knows, I think it's like 70, is it 70%? 70% of the NBA? It might be 40%. I might be off, but it's a big-ass percentage 
in the NBA of motherfuckers who are not American. Ginobili, you think that motherfucker's American? <laughs> huh? Stop it. You see what I'm saying? It's like, you want to be the best, you get it from the United States. Point blank, period. We have them all over here, okay? We have every single descent over here. There's no reason why we wouldn't be the best. But tonight, man, we have to prove it. You can talk about it all you want. The history shows that the United States is the best. But tonight, in this generation, Wilder, man, you better not fucking lose, dog. There's a lot riding on this shit. I'm going live. I'm going live. Check me out. I'm on TJIV Collins at Facebook. I'm going to be on Facebook because YouTube sucks dick. So TJIV Collins. Look me up, man. I will be showing the fight live from the barber shop. I can't wait. I, I Seriously, I can't wait. I'm only doing this prediction video because my girl's at work. Other than that, I'll be on the road. Gotta go get some smokes. Y'all know who that do. No, no cigarettes, motherfuckers. Roll something. Spark something. Welcome aboard the D-Block Express. Let me know who y'all got. Let me know why. Don't just tell me how. Let me know why. You know, losing all that weight. And the Fury Falls is going to be a funny-looking fall, dog. Now, for real, if Fury touches down, it's going to be a funny-ass fall. Because the thing about Fury, one thing that people are allevi alleviating from the situation is Fury, I don't believe he could take a punch. I don't think anybody has really caught Fury flush to see if he could take a punch. So, Wilder's going to put it to the test. <laughs> And what kind of punch would you be taking, dog? <laughs> you know, it, it's rumored to be Wilder to be the hardest puncher of all time. Nobody wants to say that. Now, if I say Joshua is the hardest puncher of all time, motherfuckers will debate it. Uh, he could be. No, he's not. He could be. But you can't say Wilder is the best of all. He, you can't say Wilder is the hardest puncher of all time. Nope, not Wilder. You know, I know it's not Wilder. Really? Wilder has a better KO percentage than Joshua. Wilder has more knockouts than Joshua has fights. You piece of shit, so-called boxing fans. You're not junkies. I, I, I really only want, when I do my live streams, I only want to talk to the junkies. Know your boxing before you come in here running your mouth. Make sure you're a diehard, such as myself. <laughs> yeah, man. D block. Oh yeah, you know who the best of all time is. Been about that tonight. So about the heavyweights. So about the money man. The new money man. <laughs> Deontay the bronze bomber Wilder. He likes being in third. That's why he's a bronze bomber. Oh, so what about your man Joe Lewis? Huh? What about Joe Lewis? You piece of shits? Huh? Yeah, exactly what I thought. Quiet. Don't know shit about boxing. Where the fuck is Roger Mayweather when you need him? My girl said, pick any jersey you want. Honestly, I'm going to probably get another boxing shirt. I'll probably get a Spence next. I'm going to get a Spence next. Um, maybe I can put him and Crawford on the same thing, but I'm going to get a Spence next. You know? Man, I can't wait for tonight. I'm about to go jump online and shoot up the world and grant that photo real quick. Look for me, Mr. Mayweather. The E at the end of Mayweather is a three. And then y'all find me, Mr. Mayweather. Jump online, GTA 5, man. Let's go shoot up some police. Let's go rob the bank. And, of course, let's go sell some cocaine. Tyson, you, 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 you want to buy some? <laughs> No, I'm just saying. I knew before he was a customer. I got a whole warehouse full. You know, let me know. <laughs> Fuck Tyson Fury. USA over here, man. D-Block over here, man. LDBC, stand the fuck up, man. I'm going to get an invite when I feel like it. You know what I mean? When, when y'all can do that. When y'all can call up the boy 78. When y'all when y'all can call up, you know what I mean, your boy Dante's 
Boxing Nation. Y'all can just call the man and talk to him on the phone. It's a different story, man. You know what I mean? How much of a fan are you? How many shirts do you guys got? What type of boxing paraphernalia do you have? Huh? So-called boxing fans. And if y'all can't find the fight, go to crickfree.org. C-R-I-C-F-R-E-E -E dot org. And then you're going to have to do a little bit of research after that. Become a nerd for this boxing shit. You'll find out how to find it. Become a nerd. Have some patience. Close down your pop-ups. D-Block, I'm out this 